Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well today. Welcome to your history and geography class. So let us start for today. Page 100. Okay, so we reached on the page 100. We talked about how Mauritius obtained its independence on the 12th of On the 12th of March 1968. So you are going to follow. Okay, we reached on the page 100. Mauritius obtained its independence in the year 1968 and the ceremony was held at the Champ de Mars in Portlis. And then what happened? The Union Jack was replaced by the Mauritian flag in the presence of the British governor, Sir John Shaw Rainey and Sir Susago Ramgulam. Now we are going to read from page 100. However, from 1968 to 1992, the Queen of Britain remained the head of the state. Mauritius had a governor general who represented the Queen of Britain. The first governor general was Sir John Shaw Rainey. The first Mauritian who became governor general were, was Sir Abdul Rahman Usman. Okay, you're going to underline this very important. You will have to know this. Who was the first Mauritian who became Governor General? He was Sir Abdul Rahman Usman. In 1992, Mauritius became a republic. Okay, you have to know these dates 1968 Independence, 1992 Republic Day. The Queen was no longer the head of the state. Okay, so when Mauritius became a republic, the queen was no longer the head of the state, so uh, it was, the country was then, the decisions was then taken by the member of the election. The country had a president, the first president was Sir Virasami Ringadu. Okay, he was the first president. Both Independence Day and Republic Day are celebrated on 12 March. It is known as our National Day. Okay, now take a look at picture 4. So what happened after Independence? Sir Sivsagor Ramgulam and Sir Gaëtan Zubal worked together to develop the country. Okay, so these two, they were working together to develop the country. Okay, so this is very important for you, this text. So from 1968 to 1992, it was the Queen of Britain who remained the head of the state. But uh, from 1992, the queen was no longer the head of the state. Now picture five, you have some important personalities. First of all, you can see Sir John Shaw Rainey, who was the first governor general. Okay, the first governor general, Sir John Shaw Rainey. Then you have the first Mauritian governor general, Sir Abdul Rahman Usman, we just read about. And then the first Prime Minister was Sir Sivsagor Ramgulam. The first President was Sir Virasami Ringadu. Okay, you will have to remember all this. Also, how to write properly the names as well. 
We are going to move on. Let us see some questions now. Let us now see the questions on the page 100. With the help of your teacher, find the names of two other governor generals of Mauritius. So I will be giving you a list of the governor generals from 1968 to 1992. But for number two and three, you are going to do this by yourself. Name the present president of Mauritius and name the present prime minister of Mauritius. So you will find out and you will write the names properly. Okay, these two, you will do it by yourself. Now let us take a look at some of the governor generals of Mauritius from 1968 to 1992. Take a look over here on the screen. Okay, these are the names of the governor generals of Mauritius. The first one, as you know, is Sir John Shaw Rainey. The second one is Sir Archer Williams. Sir Abdurrahman Usman. Sir Henri Garriot. Sir Diane Dranat Beren Chobe, Sir Siusagor Ramgulam, and Sir Virasami Ringadu. So these are the names of the governor generals in Mauritius when the queen was still at the head of state. So you can note down these important names in your copybook. We are going to see the difference between Independence Day and the Republic Day. So take a look over here on the screen. Independence Day happened in the year 1968 and Republic Day happened in the year 1992. So from 1968 to 1992, even though Mauritius was an independent country, the Queen of Britain remained the head of the state and was represented by a governor general. The Queen was the chief public representative of the island. Okay. But then in 1992, when Mauritius became a republic, the first Mauritian president was Sir Virasami Ringadu. The president is the head state of our country. In 1992, Mauritius became a state in which power was held by the people and the elected representatives and not by the queen. Okay, so this is the difference between independence and republic day. During the independence uh, years, from 1968 to 1992, the Queen was the head of the state. She was represented by a governor general. But then when Mauritius became a rep republic, there were no more governor generals, there were presidents. I hope it's clear for you. Let us move on with national symbols of Mauritius. Okay, so each country have each country has their symbols. Okay, symbols are distinguished by the flags, animals, plants, flowers. Okay, so here in Mauritius we are going to see what are the symbols. 
The national symbols are those symbols which represent a country. They are used during important events to represent the country. You're going to underline this sentence. This sentence. It is important to know about the national symbol of one's country as they inspire and instill a sense of pride and honor in the people of the country. Okay, so for example, when you can see the, the national symbol, one of the national symbols is the dodo bird. So when you can, see, when you see this uh, somewhere, so you know it belongs to Mauritius and you belong to this country. So this is how national symbols inspire and instill a sense of pride and honor a sense of belonging as well. Uh, for your country. National symbols of a country are its flag, anthem, and coat of arms. Some other significant features such as birds, animals, plants, and flowers can also be the national symbols of a country. Okay, let's find out about some of the national symbols of Mauritius and Rodrigue. So first we are going to find out about Mauritius. So as you can see in figure one, the very first one is the extinct dodo bird. Okay, the dodo bird. The second one is our national flag. We have also the coat of arms. The uh, the coat of arms, the star and key of Indian Ocean, and at last you have Trochetia, the national flower. Observe the pictures above. They show some of the national symbols of Mauritius. Name them. So you will name the extinct of the bird, national flag, coat of arms, and our national flower. Okay, now for our next classes, we are going to study in detail about our national flag, what each of the color uh, symbolizes about our dodo bird, our coat of arms, okay, and also on the national flower. Okay, so these are for our next classes. So that's all for today. We are going to Study the rest for our next classes. So you are going to take your homework. Page 101-101. Okay, so that's all. You have to study well. Review what we just did today. You are going to read the text again. Okay, so that's all for today, children. See you for our next class. Till then, take care and stay safe at home.